a new video on this. Uh, for people that know, the Sedingia is probably one of the weirdest Pokemon in the games. Uh, you can only get it a certain way, and it's not from evolving. Well, it doesn't evolve from it. But uh, if you have this one, I just had a blonde moment. I just finally figured out what the heck it's supposed to I never thought about it till now. Uh, basically, what this thing is, it's like a, a cicada. Basically, this is when it's underground. And this one, I guess, it's like that. This one, both of these evolve from this. But this one doesn't technically evolve. On the game, you have to get it a certain way, which you have to have, like, five, only five Pokemon in your party. You can have only five Pokeballs in your bag. You can have no other, no other kind of catching device in there. And then once this hits 21, it evolves into this. And then it gives you this in your party. Since you have, like, five spaces, you end up getting this one. Which I find that kind of odd. This Pokemon here, they kind of, I wish they'd have done it like on the game. This thing does not have 60 HP, any kind of HP on the game. It only has one HP. It can only be hit by critical attacks. I wish they would have done it like on, on the card game as well because it's <laughs> pretty strange. I believe this, when it, when it's something, when, the, when this evolves into this, it drops this, which if you know what a cicada does, it loses its skin before it comes out of ground. So that is what this thing is. Basically, it's pretty creepy. The description states, A discarded bug shell that came to life, peering into the crack on its back, is said to steal one spirit. Well, I have it on the game. I just decided to get another one, and this is pretty creepy. It's probably one of the creepiest set, set lines in the game, and in the card, card set.